I had to disappear for a little bit to plan out a whole new way of life. And I hope that you'll continue on this adventure with me. Hello, my name is Victoria Rose. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to out in the middle of nowhere. But let's rewind a little bit to how we got here. I was in London the last time you saw me. Hello. This is the kitchen that I've had for the past like three months. It's time to leave England and it's weird. I was walking around today. It's actually very pretty out, which it hasn't been for a while. I don't know how I feel. And I never let myself be too comfortable because I always leave everywhere to help me remember how temporary things are and how to appreciate things. And I've been here like five months. I've been here since the summertime. Just gotta trust the universe knows better than me. Goodbye to the London chapter. I'm really grateful. That's able to live here. I did it. I am in the train station now. There's the Elizabeth line that's much cheaper. That's like mm, half the cost or more than half the cost. And it's a little slower, but um, that's what we're waiting for here. Yeah, I'm gonna miss public transportation that actually is good because America does not have that. Don't take the Heathrow Express, take the Elizabeth line because it's like 10 pounds versus 25 pounds. So I am in the airport now waiting for my flight. Um, if you are taking the Heathrow train, it does take a bit longer. I'm not stressed today, it's pretty easy. It's, I'm never usually stressed too much when I'm going back to America because it's a lot easier to get into your own country than other countries. It's interesting here, they're trying to self-automate everything. They're trying to like do self-checkouts for everything. So even with the baggage check-in, it was self-done, but it's not as efficient think as it could be. I tried to do all the London things, get it all in my system. I'd been there for nearly half a year. It's time to tell you my plans, exactly what I'm gonna do, what I'm doing now. A cow club. No, this is a camera. Oh, oh. Yeah, <laughs> thousand dollar stick. My camo mother just decks out all camo. <laughs> I look like what the six you're talking about? Yeah, you do look like a hick. <laughs> So my, mother. my big old truck look at me so this is the new go, life girls. i want to show you the cows because it's my life now and i have no plans on being a cool international traveling girl so i need to embrace the the hick life on my wish list i got these gloves i needed winter uh warm wear so i got these gloves i got these these uh, who am i no i don't know i got this coat from london actually for 15 pounds from uh like a it's, it's leather, but it's vintage, so I wouldn't actually buy new leather. And then I got these boots. They're, they're like very hardy work boots. So I'm prepared for this cold weather. Um, my bags actually got left in London for days. So I haven't been able to like put on my makeup and stuff because I don't have it. <laughs> they just, love, they're just they landed and they're like, sorry, we just don't have your bags. They're still in London. So they're going to deliver them to me. But for now, we're just looking like this. They're chasing the cows from the field into the barn so they can be warm, right? For the winter. Oh, for the winter. It's start and then, right? so they can go inside. They have, there's, there's different pastures. There's the pasture for that. The cows seem to know what's going on. Look at them. They're all gathered together. <laughs> That's what we're doing now with my uncle and my mom. Do I have to do anything? Get out. My cousin and my uncle are there. <laughs> Uh, hope you guys enjoy this content. Great A content pick farm life. <laughs> Why well, go outside? I throw it together with this off. So we're making a barrier right here so the cows can't come um, take all the trucks, putting them in a line, so the cows can't run out. And usually they'll herd together, I suppose. Sounds like a plan to me. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm just gonna get out of here. I'm not here to help. I'm here to just record. The thing is, though, is I feel like this stuff doesn't re get recorded as much because farmers don't really do YouTube or anything. So uh, it's a different perspective. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that cow. But it's not like a dinosaur. It's icy. Alright. There is a ball in here. 
big guy. That might be him right there. Scheiße! Scheiße! <laughs> That's how you do it. That's how it's done. And that is how you put in cows. That went very, very smoothly and I told them it's probably because I was there to help. <laughs> I didn't do anything. If you'd like to see a tour of my sister's tiny house she's building in this covered wagon, I'm gonna go through kind of now what I'm, my plans are here, why I'm here. There's, it's freezing rain right now, I don't like that. In 2022, I traveled and lived in six different countries. And while I learned so much and appreciate all the things I've seen and done, I became a bit burnt out and also financially incapable of continuing my international adventures. I'm happy to not identify with anything anymore. I don't need to run. I need to accept living lots of different ways of life to truly know how to just be and be happy. My new plan is to first get a truck one I can convert into an overlander. I want freedom and as much as I can have. I don't have finances for this, so it will be a budget and I'll probably have to learn how to fix something up. Once I've got my truck, I then want to get a slide on top living space so I can feel like I have at least a little bit of a home. The next phase of the American adventure is to travel to North Carolina and go through the land searching process with my sisters uh, and then build a tiny house, maybe make it a spaceship, I don't know. I shared my plan with my followers on my live stream and they had me make a GoFundMe for all this. I'm in no way asking for anything but the options there if you want it, but you just being here with me is way more than enough. So that's where we're at now and I'm very intimidated. Traveling to me is easy. Building a life somewhere is actually terrifying. Well, I was looking for this newspaper that is popular around here. It's called the Air Shopper. It's very old school in the regard of, there's just list, it's a newspaper with listings of things for sale and, and but I can't find it. So we're just gonna start on Craigslist. So I'm gonna do a little screen recording here. So we're gonna go on Craigslist and search for, we're gonna search for Overlander. I don't know if that's the proper term, but we're gonna start with that. Okay, oh, this is my, this is like a dream of mine to have a sprinter van. Ugh, $165,000. You could buy amazing house with that. That's what I'm saying, like, I, that's why I'm not doing van life. It's too expensive. Number one, sprinters are so expensive. And a converted sprinter. I'm very knowledgeable about van life and that type of thing because um, years ago I used to live and do RV life, so I understand that. And I was researching so much. We bought two different RVs. Um, and so I researched a lot about them and class B, C, class A, and all the different things about um, vans and on the road type of nomadic life. I've been doing this for a while, so. This would be an ideal thing, but... Oh, interesting, so this is a rooftop tent. It's so small and it can fit on a car. I don't want something like this because it's not really permanent enough and I don't like tents. I'm not trying to camp. I'm not trying to buy a camper either. So that's that's 800 bucks. I mean, not a bad deal, I don't think. I'm really nervous about this because I feel like I either need to ask my dad or just a male figure to come with me if I go look at trucks because I feel like they're gonna swindle me if I just go by myself. So the type of things we have here, the price I guess we're looking at is probably around 20 grand as I'm looking. I'm not trying to get something crazy bulked out. I don't know anything about trucks, but like, oh, get this 1996 Ford. <laughs> no, um, I heard Toyota's a good name. <laughs> we're learning this together. I actually don't know what I'm looking for. I'm going to go and inquire from my dad uh, he's a mechanic. He knows a lot about vehicles. We're going to go and ask him. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. So this is what I'm kind of looking for. I could get one of these and convert it on the inside and even like paint it on the outside to make it look more Mad Max. You know, I mean, the inside is so bad and ugly. 
but we could we could remodel the whole inside. Looks very 2000s, 90s, 2000s. But yeah, this could, we could we'd have to remodel the whole inside. But if it had a good structure, this is huge. This is huge for a truck bed. 1996. Ooh, that's old. Has some soft spots on the floor. Ooh, I don't like that. Roof needs some replacement. Uh, I need one with a with a good solid bed. This one would not work because there's hardly any bed on it. That's what you call it. But it looks kind of cool. There's a lot I need to like, learn. Hopefully in the next video I'll have my bags and have my lighting and stuff. But thank you for joining with me to America and listening to my plans and sticking with me. I know I haven't uploaded for a while, but it's because I'm in the process and the transition. And now I just really have to focus on this. And I'm completely terrified, especially because I don't have the money and I don't know where it's going to come from. I, but I don't want to wait around here for like months and months and months. So I'm trying to save up. Plans may change, but those are the plans right now. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for joining me. Bye.